happy Sunday. Um, just a little happy Sunday, a little story time for you on this Sunday afternoon um, as we close out towards the end of March here. A um, couple of things. Saturday. Saturday yesterday went out and I went to Costco. You know, I want to make a little run, pick up some extra stuff, just kind of fill out what we had in the house. Um, mainly wanted to look for a ham, you know, for Easter coming up and things like that. So we get there. I park in the middle of the parking lot, far out there, nobody around me. Park the big blue car out there, nobody's there. Oh, everything's cool. Okay, so we go up there, a couple people in front of the store. I'm like, yeah, I'll be dealing over there before the store opens. So I'm thinking life's pretty good at this point. I get closer to the store, there's a couple people there, but they're standing around the corner of the building. So I go around the corner of the building. And the line goes all the way down to the end of the building and around the back corner of the building. So it goes just hundreds and hundreds of people. And I'm like, oh my gosh. At this point, I want to leave. And my wife's like, no, no, no. You know, we just should take care of it right now. So we get in line. Eh, it takes us about 15 minutes to get to the door, which isn't bad. We get in. You know, they let 10 people in. They let 10 people out. 10 people in. 10 people out. But I noticed something. People were coming out with toilet paper. That's right. Those big Costco-sized things of toilet paper on the bottom of their carts. One per cart. I got excited for a minute. How sad that I got excited for toilet paper. It's not like we're out of toilet paper, but I still got excited about it. So we get inside, we pick up a couple of different things, and I swing over to the toilet paper aisle, and there's like three big full pallet fulls. They have actually plenty of, they'll probably go on by like the end of the day or the end of the weekend. So I picked up one, stuck it on our cart, we picked up a few more things, got the shopping done, got up to the front, did our little checkout, you know, and um, paid her money, walked out. So we're going out. And I can't see my car. And I'm like, my car? Where's my car? Don't tell me somebody took my car. I'm like, oh my gosh. So I parked in the middle of the parking lot out there. No one around. Of all those open parking spots, somebody has to choose to park a gigantic gold Mercedes SUV right next to mine on one side, blocking my view from the car to um, Costco. And then an additional giant silver truck parked right behind me. So my car, my big blue car is all boxed in. I'm like, really? Of all the places, all the choices, they go and they do that. All right, whatever. So there's no door dings or anything like that. Maybe that's why they parked over there away from everybody else. They figured that wouldn't bother them too. Who knows? So we load stuff up and go home. No big deal. Saturday night rolls around. I'm sitting upstairs. I hear this noise. It's thumping. It's banging noise. And something being flipped over. It's thumping, banging. I'm like, what's going on? So look out the window. Don't see anything. I wait a while. Don't hear anything. Talk to my wife and kids. They hear it, but they don't know where it's at. So I open the door carefully, sneak out the front door, as stealthy as a middle-aged man can be, put my glasses on so I can see in the dark, scan the neighborhood, dead quiet. I'm like, am I hearing things? Am I hearing things in my head already after being locked up for a couple weeks? I didn't think so, but who knows? So I scan the neighborhood, have a flashlight or a bright one, you know, just kind of channel around behind cars and things like that, make sure nobody's messing with somebody's car or anything like that. Everything's clear, everything cool, and then I hear the noise again. Thump, thump. I'm like, oh, what the heck? So I slowly walk down my driveway, scanning everywhere. Get past my neighbor's house, and he's got these motion lights and motion cameras. I move slow enough, I don't even trigger his lights. So I get past us, and there's a house next to his in the corner, with the garage door up. And I'm kind of like, Okay, and I hear this thumping and clanging and banging noise. I'm like, what's going on? So I peek around a little bit. Guy's in the garage. Has this giant tire, massive tire. We're not talking like a car tire or truck tire. We're talking like a tractor tire. And he's beating it with a baseball bat. Over and over and over. And then he walks around to the other side and hits it again and again and again. And I'm kind of like, ooh, okay. We've been locked up a few weeks. I'm thinking maybe he's feeling a little stress, or maybe he's just having a really great CrossFit workout. I don't know. But at that point, I identified the noise. I'm like, okay, not what I expected. Slowly backed away and went back to my house. And now that I know the sound was, and 20 minutes later, it stops. I'm like, okay, cool. Two weird things, though. I got excited. Toilet paper, and some dude's beating a tire in his garage again and again and again. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe I'm going to feel better. Who knows? Monday, starting fourth quarter. So third quarter's over, grades have been totaled and should be live in about a week after the office processes everything. History will start Rome. Um, math, we're gonna continue moving forward with the end of our geometry unit. Um, I'm thinking about going down to school, taking my son with me, going to the classroom, and maybe setting up those bridges one day and breaking them and recording and then streaming on the YouTube. Yeah. 
if I can manage to swing that and think I can do it safely, you know, get us down there and get that taken care of, and probably take us, you know, an hour or two when we're in school, and nobody's around. That'd be kind of fun because then those bridges wouldn't be sitting there until next year, and you actually see everybody else's bridge all together, how they break and what happens. So I'm kind of toying with that idea. We'll see if I can make that work. Kind of depends on how the week goes. This is our last week before spring break, and then you have a solid week off, which means at least no schoolwork. I won't be assigned any work over the break. Hope you guys had a great weekend. Hope my story provided a little bit of amusement for you, not a whole lot. Not as good as some of the stories you guys tell in class. But hope you had a good weekend. Take it easy, and I'll see you on Monday.